I've been using volt ohm meters for many many years. Uh, in high school we called them vomiters, just for fun of course. Like this one, this relic from Radio Shack. So when I got the Mailon HT208D, I was excited to see what all it could do, and I had to go on a bit of a learning curve because it has a lot of capabilities that the older meters did not have. I was pleased to find that it included a thermocouple for uh, measuring temperature and of course the standard issue probes. comes in a nice case like this which I've gotten dirty I see on my workbench here. There are a number of good videos on YouTube concerning the HT208D not necessarily under the name Mailon, uh, that demonstrate a lot of things about it, but there was a couple things I didn't see demonstrated uh, adequately that I want to show you that it will do that your average volt ohm meter won't do. One is to measure the current that a appliance or whatever you are using is drawing. To demonstrate how the amperage draw of an item works, uh, measuring it works, I'll first put this, uh, since I'm using AC, I'm going to put it on the 60 to 600 amp range. It'll go clear up to 1000 amps. That's uh, for somebody working with a lot more power than me. It comes up on DC, so pushing the function button, it goes to AC, and right now there's zero amps, so I clamp it with the cord to this old soldering iron uh, uh, in the middle of the clamp and I'll turn on the switch that's powering that and immediately we see that the soldering iron starts to draw 0 0.23, 0 0.24 amps. The other function of this uh, clamp is called inrush and that's really something beyond what I would ever do. It's like for an HVAC a repairman to check how much power a compressor is drawing or a large motor is drawing. You just put it around the cord like this and uh, then start up the motor and there's a button here that you can make it just record the highest draw so that you know how much power is being drawn by the motor when it first turns on. One issue with this unit is the sturdiness of the construction. I had a problem when I pulled these uh, inserts out of the unit, my finger slipped off the red here and pulled directly on the wire and pulled it directly out. You can see it's just a little thin wire that's just crimped into there. And I had a lot of difficulty getting it to stay back in on the red side here. Uh, I finally put some epoxy on there and I'm hoping it's going to stay. There are some minor minor issues but overall it's an excellent meter and I think it's designed for the professional repairman probably a little more meter than the average do-it-yourself guy like me would have to have.